Hello guys, welcome to my channel and Jimmy Lee here. As you know, so this week I got a very special result in the Terror Tuesday, one of the biggest online event that happens between the oldest strongest player in the world, right? In every Tuesday. Somehow I did like you know phenomenal and I got like 10 half hour 11, which for me was very special. It was my first win of the year and also I was able to sneak into top 10 of the world global ranking in Bliss so I crashed for more. So here in this video I want to show you and you know analyze some of my games to you so that like you can understand the way I won Terror Tuesday, some nice games, some ideas and obviously to show you that Terror Tuesday was a great event. So, I mean, the, like, there are 11 games, right? So I will try to divide the analysis into three parts. The first part, which this is the one, I will try to cover the first four games. The second part, from game 5 to game 8. And the last part, from game 9 to game 11, including my win against Hikaru in round 10. So, overall, I can say that I did play pretty good. I got some nice games. I got a game where I get very, very lucky against Hikaru, you know. I was completely lost in the opening, miscalculated, and lost, but somehow found a way to come back, defend tenaciously, and got lucky, obviously. But okay, I will go step by step, and I will show you all of my games from the beginning. Some first games actually are kind of easy, so I will try to cover it quickly. But still, hopefully you can understand the ideas and I hope that you can give me some feedback to improve the quality of the video and also the stream and my analysis, right? Let's go into detail. So in the first game, I am sure I was like seat number 10 or something like that in the beginning with the rating of 30, 80, one, I think the uh, one. And my opponent is FM from Russia. Let's go to the game right away. D4, knight f6. Knight f3, g6. C4, g7, I was white here. So I went for the fingertip line. G3, castles. G2, he plays c6, which obviously is a playable one. He wanted to play d5 and obtain a line that he got, I think, kind of symmetrical variation. Castles. D5. So now we got, I think this is called like Neo Grunfeld defense. So here there is a small trick that you may want to know. And C3 is normal things, right? But here Black is doing fine when you get DC4. And the pawn can be taken. It's not that easy to take the pawn back. As knight 5 allow knight G4. Knight G4. When the knight here is being attacked and knight C4 plus pawn, right? Normally Black can happy about this scenario in the game so i did try to go for b3 which actually is a very playable and in the meantime i think a pretty good one in the game a4 should be two a5 sc3 i'm pretty sure this is the kind of opening things if i wasn't mistaken like what i did prepare earlier is like f5 group c1 text which e4 and like a4 and like a3 something like that like you know some kind of long long openings pretty i mean <laughs> not very fascinating in line but something super interesting but definitely a playable weapon for white or for someone like me who wants some kind of slow maneuvering game in the game right away c3 and a4 which i'm pretty sure is considered a bit hasty you can play here or like this one so in the game, a4, e3. A solo move, defend the center, and also I can make queen and two knights, which is one idea in this line. a5, in the game, I took the pawn right away, b a4. Somehow now my pawn is covered, right? I can like knight d2, knight b3, which is my, my ideas. Queen d7, and knight a5. If you play queen a4, you just can take the queen and queen upon d5, right? So he played bishop e5 in the game. Text. Rook d8, defend upon d5. If you play rook a4 here, 
back to the point here as well, right? We play e6. This one actually is playable, but I think I had g4. When the bishop run away, we got f3, and it is being trapped, isn't it? So in the game, he played rook d8. Find a pawn on d5 here. So I try to play queen b3. Activate my queen, and also I take these two pawns. If you play queen a4, I can take here, and also a pawn up. Group a4 falls into the same thing, when I can be able to win a pawn using a small tactics, right? Queen d5, I can play queen a4, but I think the better way is to fd1 right away. When the skewer in the default allow me to win an exchange. Here, this, and the rook a1 is covered, right? When this is completely winning. In the game, so he play should be 6 here, should be 4. Here, so you need to see his threat, right? Replace d4, and that really looks annoying. In the game, so I defend that right away, should be 4. The engine didn't really like that, but I guess in a blitz game, that is understandable. Also, I am up on time here a lot, right? Rook e4, and rook b1. I can play rook fb1, I think so, which is the engine preference, but in the game, I simply thought, okay, I can bring the rook to the c file, and to a to group a to the b5 right which seems to be somewhat more natural so in the game we won not a6 somehow here i guess he didn't see the way to defend a pawn on b7 so he just like play a normal move i guess like group c8 here can be a better choice as if the pawn here drops the pawn here also falls well right so here may be a way to equalize and then group c1 he can just take here isn't it i guess we want i can play but he play like Rook cc4, and when he play here, and it should be equal to them today. When I also got a double pawn too, here, and my bishop is in fact block, right? So in the game, he play knight 6 which is I think not a terrible move, but is a slight inaccuracy. Normally, your knight doesn't want to belong to the corner of the board, right? As someone may say, a knight in the dream is deep. In the game, rook c1, bring the rook to the c file, natural one. Rook b4, queen a3. Look what this pawn on e7 as well. Takes, takes. And here, although the engine claimed it was a row equal, I was pretty happy here with my position. At one time a lot, this pawn can become some weakness, and my bishop here can be rerouted to attack him, you know, so I was pretty happy here. In the game, rook c8 h4 first, open up the flash for the king, and I can for h5 if I want to. Rook c4, rook b6. I the pieces, and preparing queen b2 or b3 to take the pawn on b7. Somehow, I do plan to play queen b3 right away, but he may try to go for the trades, you know, which probably is not that easy for me to convert, so I just want to avoid that. Rook b6. In the game here, he made a mistake. I guess he was down in time here. So play rook six right away. He wanted to exchange my rook, but sadly he missed the detail. I take it right away, and now he is in an odd situation. Take here, lose, deny, right? So he must stick with the queen, but sadly it's not really an improvement since the pawn here drops as well, right? I won a pawn, and moreover, his king now feels unsafe. I can play h5, h6, or in play here and here, and obviously he wouldn't feel safe at all. In the game, we see one, h2, and here he can play like queen c8. When I may plan to go like h5 here and go here, attack his dark square weakness, right? For instance, I can show you some, I mean, a nice idea here. For instance, let's say if you play knight b8, I play h6, you play, I mean, something like let's say b5, you know, whatever. So I can go for probably queen to f6, which actually is what I do think here. It's one and then bishop c5, for instance, right? But actually, it's a lot of checks, so it's not that good. I guess I can also try like maybe bishop f1 right away as well, which is a slow plan. Or I can play king g1 first. So this one is very winning for me. I did miss the queen s move, but obviously it doesn't really change the evaluation of this position. But this is the best way to prolong the game though. In the game, sadly here, he was down in time and he made a horrible mistake. Queen b2. 
he want to defend a pawn here and attempt a pawn as well, right? But obviously, it allow should be two. <laughs> he resigned. So first game, one out of one. Somehow pretty super what as I can say that. Okay, so first game, game two. So game two. Okay, one moment. Let me try and scroll down here. Here it is. Game two. So I play against. I think a Chilean. I am. This guy is also a streamer too. If I wasn't mistaken, I see him play a lot in like Arena Kings. In the game, he played d4 against me. I win d5, c4, e6. Knight f3, knight f6, knight c3, and now d7. This line is. Fairly trending nowadays. I think it is played a lot by the Indian star Arjun Irigaisi and also by lots of stronger players as well. The idea is trying to look for bishop b4 and c5 later on. So this one actually is pretty new and trendy variation. I think I play against Arun this one like a few times as well. I play against him once in real life. We drew this game with this line. Once I play him like a few games like online, which was never favored me. In the game, so my opponent tries c5. c5. Which I think is a tricky one. Here, so this is pre rare move, so I don't know the main theory. The engine showed me after the game that I can play here right away. Right away. Obviously before the a5, right? When a3 doesn't work, due to that, the rook is being pinned. Play here, I play knight b8. And the pawn here is on pressure, right? Knight e5 and play knight e4. When I can play f6 next, and the knight need to run, when the pawn can become vulnerable. But yeah, this idea obviously is only good for someone who knows the line, right? But I don't. In the game here, I thought for 37 seconds, I play c6. Which I guess is natural, I suppose. Bishop f4, h5. Trying to exchange the bishop away, which is a fairly typical idea in this line. E3, takes, takes, G6. Trying to fianchetto in this diagonal, which makes some sense, right? I can show you an idea here, like for instance, let us say G3, G7, and now if you play with G2, for instance, I have B6. Strike in the center right away. And if you play B4, I can just take, and I win a pawn, right? Since nice hanging on c3. So in the game, he saw that. Rook c1 was play. That's what's h4, b6. Somehow here, so I think black has two options. You can play f6 to play e5 right away, right? Or you can strike in the king side, I mean in the queen side. But if play here, I was a bit worried about h5 when my king can become a weakness. So I decided to go for the other option, b6. So in the game, he took, remember before, sorry, before, takes, takes, and queen a5. My queen now can be active, can be activated, and I can be able to put rook b8, right? Which seems fair. So in the game here, d2, cover the pin, b8, h5, queen a3, queen a3. By this move here, I want to play rook b2 and also I take a look at these two pieces as well, right? Which seems understandable. Also, there are some lies that he might try like knight e5, you know? Maybe not this time, but my queen is hanging here, which leaves some chance for some tactical opportunities. So I want to avoid that. Queen e3. Text. Text. Rook e2. He tried to develop his pieces. Rook b2. Queen e3. Knight f6. So here, in fact, there is some fun idea I want to show you. This fun idea I want to show you. By this move here, I wanted to play knight g4. Let the queen also force the queen to go up e3 and make these pieces become weakened, right? Here, in fact, there is a fun idea that you guys may wonder. What about knight g5? Right? Knight d5. If I take on e3 here, it allow mid in one on a spot, which looks very funny, isn't it? But here, so in the game, I just see this line, and I will play rook e2 right away, which I think is a strong one, a strong intermediate move, or intermezzo, you guys can say. 
Queen e2, Queen c1, and we can trade later on and win here in d5, right? And two pieces up. King e2 seems better, but I can play here with checks, and I can take back here on d5, right? When we up material and had a strong attack. So, in the game, he played knight e5. So my pawn here right away, Ray 6 Obviously, my plan is to do the same. Take, take another defy here, just go e2 again, right? Same thing. In fact, this one is a very tricky position. In the game, I don't think he might play here, knight c6, to turn mid. I do plan the rook here as well, rook e8 too, and then somehow if he castles, right? Just take an e2, and I win a piece. So somehow he is still in a bit trouble here, and I think it's not easy to play at this point. Like, it is a complex situation for both sides. In the game, I think he thought for a long time here, and he decided to go for some tricks. F5. Misery is g4. The main thing here is that to think about this move. He did win low on time, right? And that can become a serious problem. In the game, rook c8. Defend the pawn on c6 here, and also get my king a way to run away if this one can become a reality. f5, he went for fire. Here, I guess I made a slight mistake. The engine <coughs> indicates that attack here gives me an edge. Knight e2, queen e3, and then I play like win a pawn here. And if I play like take here, I just take with the pawn and I also get a small edge. In the game, I saw what's down in time, so I decided to go for some tricks. Knight e4. This one was fully <coughs> wrong. <coughs> My idea here in the game is that if you play knight e4, the rook e2, right? Win material again. But that's why I just want to, you know, attack his pieces and try to distract his pieces a little bit. This one is wrong. The engine claims that take here on assist for him, and if you play here, white is surely better. Which I definitely missed that. In the game, so I got lucky here, I guess. He played knight for right away, which obviously allowed queen 2 right? And queen e2, which e2, and I'm up material. And in the game, king e2, d4, and he's trying to play for some more moves, but obviously now I'm up a full queen. And his king is weak, and the result is never in doubt. Take here, e5, take, take, and you have 3. He resign. King e1, let's look here as well, right? Queen e2 is not really an alternative. You can just play queen f2 here, go for all the materials, or rook d8 here is also good, you know. When king e1 allow the same thing, and king c2 allow the mid here, which is also fairly simple. Isn't it? <coughs> So, 2 out of 2, not an easy game, right? Gotta be lucky. Next, let's come to game 3. So, game 3, let's take a look here. So, game 3, I play with, I think, a young player from Ukraine. This game actually is very fun, since I missed plenty of chances to win earlier. I think... If I was not mistaken, the game showed that my accuracy was like 74% only. I missed many chances to win. I'll show you step by step. In the game, we had the same line with the first game. But the only changes is that here in the game he played d6. Not 6, right? <coughs> That's was push. That's it 3. g5. E1, it's main variation, knight e4, b3, this is still the main opening theory, c3, takes. Here the main line is bishop c8, and then I can play e4, or bishop e3, there are some kind of deep theoretical line that you just can tell that way. It is one of my main preparations, so I'm not going to review all the things, but I just can tell you that this is the opening variations. In the game, he made a mistake here, e7, this is the wrong one, e4. To g4, e5, you can see that I'm playing pretty quickly, right? I knew this is better for me. Right? Take a check, take it here with the, take the queen first. Take here, f3, 
and in the game here and it was better for sure i had like you know better bishop pair somehow bishop this is my bishop is pretty active right and he wouldn't fight easy to do like really do his pieces in the game ready seven try four once again understandable right c5 always draw a pawn here and now my threat is c5 if you play like here for instance right i can play queen a3 when the threat mean the same right the spin in fact is really annoying and at this point here in the game i knew that was better already so in the game we hit c5 we fit here touch 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 we seven let's see it so here i won a pawn and i went time a lot as well so i was confident that i could win this one easily but no i missed plenty of things here to convert in the game i played e3 doubling the rook here on the e-file makes sense we be it here first move here that i kind of miss i can play right away at first glance it looks a bit tricky right but my queen can run easily Rook here could be seven rook be it here with the pawn right to play here i just can't be here right away and we are two pawns up so this is actually good for me and if he doesn't chase my queen away i can run as well right so this is free two pawns up <clears throat> in the game i missed that queen a6 nice is here we won we seven defend the pawn now e5 trying to get my rook to a native square and this one can also be a threat g7 h4 obviously in h1 h5 queen a5 here at this point i'm pretty sure i start you know looking around for some ideas to win again right away but i fail. he was pretty solid and there's no way to really win a game for me though so in the game could be five which actually was a nice one take here may be not good for me since now the pawn c3 came from winners right and i need to defend the pawn so you know there's no point in allowing any kind of, kind of play right when you're winning or better so we need four in the game ready seven group e3 again i started to retreat and that's not a good sign right maybe a six we see two and c4 e2 okay everything now is actually looks i think pretty normal he can play queen here or like can play here like you know trying to wait for me to make action which i don't think i can do it easily in the game he made a mistake c5 a supernatural move okay for activities open up his rook but sadly this one is wrong since it allowed queen a4 guys which win material for me right but no after 12 seconds of thought i missed that g5 uh that was poor very poor actually now he was six here oh, yeah. in the game i missed also a super beautiful idea as well too Rook e6 exclamation mark and to here i take here right and then this is next he must take the group right now to avoid the mid let's say here for instance right this and now we can play here right away when he can resign you know somehow so in the game i missed that again play group e8 trying to infiltrate to his camp which is understandable but sadly not a very strong one c4 queen d2 queen f6 and here i miss a super nice trico opportunities group is shit exclamation mark this one literally wins for me on this part when you play here right i can deal a mid right away with queen h6 and then group e8 mid is next right if you play queen f3 get the spot away for the king you can just play this king f6 g5 and queen e5 f6 lose the rook here right and then mid is next this is only way to play and then the deflection rook g8 finish the game on a spot i want material and my attack still continues right this is decisive so second chance miss g2 in the game rook b7 again something was missed rook b8 
But in the game, what I can say is that I only look at the idea to double up the rook on the death rank. So I missed that completely. What is here? Third chance. Miss. Should we hit here in the game? But this is already looking very good. Here's 7 and d6. At this point now, I think I found the best one. Up here, doesn't work here, right? Due to the wish hit. And a mistake here. Text and then win d6. Winning lots of materials. One so. This now can become a threat, right? His pieces are very, very cramped. And this is winning for me now. In the game, rook f5. And I went for material now. Wish it. Text, text, and queen d4. When I can win some material next, right? He resigned. No without not waiting for me to deliver the win. In the game, my plan is the king g8. I play bishop c6 here first. And here, and here. He can't defend both, and I win material with it is. So, game 3, 3 out of 3, but not with the mistakes, isn't it? Game 4. So, okay, game 4, wait for me for a second. Game 4 here, I think I met a strong GM from Serbia. I think he is GM, I think Igor, yeah, Igor Miladinovic. In the game, let's go to the game right away. This line is here. Let's see 3 should be 4. Literally, this I think is a fairly trendy variation too. The main line is like a3 text, text here, knight f6, and that line is, I mean, another story, but actually it's a pretty fun one. In the game, to the pawn, the pawn, g3, flip it to the bishop, knight f6, g2 here, castles, knight f3, push the pawn, castles, be it. No more, no more developing move. A5, BD7, at the pieces. Also, challenge that right away as well. B3, take the bishop on B4, retreats. Qc2, and B6. Somehow, also, my play feels pretty easy, right? I don't need to think a lot. And also, my plan now can be fairly simple, isn't it? In the game, 95 and 94. Which I think is a strong move. I try to attack his knight on if I right away. Also, if I stop only want to play f4, you know, to keep the knight in the center, I can play f6, right? When I can shoot the kid another way, and the pawn on e2 can become a backward pawn, isn't it? So in the game here, g4, takes h3, switch 5. Now, somehow, I think I'm better since I got much better pieces. My bishop can go to this as well, also, and my pieces, I think, like, you know, can have better prospects. Like, I can play nice c4 or here later on, I can play here, I can play plenty of things. I got the semi open e file, things look good for me. f4. His threat is this, and this one, right? I saw that in the game, so I play f6 right away. Prepare a way to retreat. g4, back home. Should e2. Let's see four. Once again, a natural move. B3, A3, touch, touch. So now we win bishop pair. And moreover, his pawn looks pretty weak, right? In the game, I was pretty confident at this point. We have three, queen e7. Queen e2, rook e8, and kf2. So this one, I think, is the crucial moment in the game. In the game here, I spend one minute and 10 seconds this move. To think deeply here and realize that I was not as good. Like I was, my, my position was not as good as I thought. Like I overestimated my own position. Before this move here, I thought I'm doing well. Like if you just take here on e3, right? I can take here. And now these pieces are under attack. Then run away, the pawn drops, right? Group c1, I play here as well. And the same problems, same happen, isn't it? But then I'm looking at two. Force me to make a decision about my rook on e3. So now I have no way to really invade his camp anymore. Rook f3, take bishop, you know. And then he can play e3, rook e1, and some slow play. I know I'm still doing fine here with bishop pair, but I don't see things very, very clear. So I decided after some thinking time to retreat. Trying to probably, you know. Still trying to mess the game up and still trying to go for the like, complications. In the game, 
that strategy worked out well. Luckily. F5. Resist on the square. E1. The engine claimed rook e3 is a remove of white. When he can go for the twist, you know. And I think with that, he can do well. In the game, we won. E7 right away. Avoid twist here. E4. This move, I think, is a wrong one. Somehow, he was, you know, a bit weak with the king, right? And his pawn looks not so safe as well, too. Normally, when you have the bishop pair, you may want to open up the position. And your opponent have bishop pair, you may want to close it down, right? Here, he opened up the position for me, which is what I'm looking for. In the game, so text. Text here, e4, e8. I must avoid threats. Queen e3. Queen, e queen here. Thought to pinning him. Queen e3. Queen e7. Back down here. So let my bishop join the game. Knight e4. Queen e5. Queen e1. Queen e4. Queen e3. And b 5 at this point, I knew it was going much better. In the game here, some opponent earned right away. He played nice c5 here. Push out of this move, you know. And then it is the pit that now win material. He resigned instantly as well. But here, if you play nice c3, right, which is the best move here, I can also play c5. And then take here, allow a sim, right? And now you can see here, I got tons of pressure on his pawns and positions like d5 I can play like maybe rook c8 here and go for c4 i can also play as well too and you see here right i win a pawn rook c5 doesn't work here due to queen a2 and his i think pression kind of collapses somehow here so he was doing i think his king is weak his pawns are weak as well too and things are looking pretty poor but then he blundered right away which allowed me to finish the game right okay so 4 out of 4, a pretty smooth game, I didn't need to think for a long time in the game, but luckily, it turned out well for me. Obviously, it is a good start of the event, right? So, this is the first part of the Tower Tuesday analysis. I was doing fine, luckily, and things was, you know, going well for the first time. So, um, I will try to upload this thing like online to you soon, and then hopefully you guys can have me some ideas to make it better, and hopefully you enjoy the video. Thank you, see you, and peace.